so I'm in here looking at my pawpaws. You got three of them. Um, it's important to get have two different varieties. Two of them came from one um, place, and and this third one came from somewhere else. So I have to assume that they're not the same. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying name varieties. Um, these are no idea. I'm assuming wild, grown from wild stock. So they've been about five years in the ground, and um, they've yet to flower. You can see it's actually getting quite a quite a decent trunk on it. Uh, unfortunately, this one got broke off here. This was a really nice tree. Um, it was about eight or nine feet tall. Uh, it has a really nice tropical looking appearance. Um, I'm just so disappointed that this one broke. Uh, of all three, this is the one that you actually see the most. I'm hoping that this branch here will start to, I mean, it does seem like it's kind of bending up and eventually take over and hopefully we won't see uh, the damage but what I wanted to show you is because I look at these things closely every year because we've been uh, waiting and waiting and waiting for some uh, flowers and what you see I don't know okay there you go so this shape this kind of sickle shape this is when they first start waking up um, it's like a little wing or something and that's just a regular leaf and the leaf buds tend to be um, kind of pointy. Hope this is showing up well, but they're kind of pointy. And the flower buds are more round. So I see what I think are flower buds. You can kind of see them. You see the, the bud at the top is, is long and elongated and pointy. And see how these ones are much more round and plump? And they're kind of coming off the stick more or the branch those are flower buds I'm positive I have seen them um, pawpaws that flower so I think finally after five years these things have decided to flower so what's interesting is is, is this one and the one over there which I bought at the same place at the same time both have flower buds whereas this one from a different source I've not seen any or anything that looks like flower buds to me yet. It is uh, uh, it's, it's a little bit smaller. So I'm thinking that next year this one will flower. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. But uh, with your pawpaws, what you want to do is one, it's really important to have two different varieties. Otherwise, uh, you won't really have a lot of uh, good pollination. The other thing is, is they have to be planted reasonably close, um, within 10 or 15 feet. Uh, here it's not so much a problem, but more in the east, the these are one of the first flowering trees, so there aren't really any pollinators around, and the flowers are not supposed to smell good, um, kind of a rotting meat sort of thing, so they attract flies and beetles. So what I would suggest is if you have some pawpaws that are flowering, you want to manually pollinate them yourself. Uh, you can do that with a Q-tip or, or a small paintbrush. You just kind of go and touch the flowers of one and then go to the other. You want to do that um, to kind of increase your yields because I don't think that these uh, have high yields on them. At least not until they start getting to a reasonable size. Uh, you know, having three or more is definitely going to help you out with that, though. Um, so I'll, I will do an update. Uh, I'm really, I'm feeling good that those are flower buds. Uh, if they are, they'll be like a dark purple flower and they come out before the leaves start to. So keep you updated. Um, this one has some right there on the left in the middle of the screen that's a flower bud and I saw some up top and, and a couple more that may be so with the flower I'll show you and I'll show you how I just kind of try and um, cross pollinate now first year they're flowering you know if I try and manually pollinate will I get fruit I don't know I sure hope so so anyway Papa is slowly waking up these ones I find are late even here they're one of the later trees um, 
it really isn't until you know mid-may that they they start going so it's an early spring update on the pawpaws